Hey guys, welcome to our channel. We're the Blomblies. My name is Megan. This is my husband. Robert. Our daughter Autumn. Our daughter Kenna. Wave Kenna. <laughs> and Jocelyn. Wave Jocelyn. Nope. So guys, we have a holiday snack crate today that we're going to share with you guys. Um, we have not opened it. We're going to be cutting it open right now. So yeah, let's go ahead and dig in. Autumn, are you ready? Ready. Can you say ready? Ready. Okay. Ready. Autumn says Eddie. Ready. Mm -hmm. Eddie. So ready. I'm going to get this thing open here. <laughs> Jocelyn, you gave me the worst scissors. <laughs> All right, here we go. Holiday snack crate. Oh, look, guys. Holiday. It's got a Santa Claus on it. Holiday 2021. All right. So with the snack crate, it always comes with the information card about the different snacks that are in the box. So where did it come from? Um, this is the holiday crate. This is a special, like a special um crate. They don't come from any. These actually come from uh, all over the world, from different countries. They're not just from one specific country. Um, and then they have the Happy Holidays fun facts in here. We might read some of these at the end, but first we're going to see what's in the box. Um, so yeah, that's really cute. I love their little fun facts papers in there. Alright guys. The first thing in our box is Sweet Chaos. Delightfully Disruptive Grizzled Popcorn. What it looks like. Let's see it. Sweet chaos. Yeah, it's peppermint crunch, drizzled with sweet, white, and dark frosting. Let's take a look. Should we read about it first? No. It's got a little tear thing right here. I think I'll read about it when we're tasting it. Ooh, I can smell it. it smells like chocolatey popcorn. <laughs> That's what it looks like. You can see the little peppermint in there. You want one on it? Get one. Mmm. I'm getting the peppermint. It's coming through. Do you taste peppermint? Autumn, do you like it? Yes, yes. These are so fresh, they taste so good. Yeah, I like it. Robert likes it. Kenna, do you like it? Mm hmm. Mm, these are really delicious. Oh. You guys can snack on those. I'm, I'm going to read something about that. What's it called? The popcorn? If I can find it. Peppermint popcorn. You'll be feeling festive with every bite of this kettle cooked corn. Kettle cooked popcorn drizzled in sweet, white, and dark icing, plus bits of peppermint flakes. All right. So I think everybody liked those. The next item is fruit pastilles. Fruit pastilles. Honey, you want to read about these while I'm opening it? Is that it right there? Fruit pastilles. I have to figure out how to open this. Oh, and it's vegan friendly. This says raw, like, says raw and trays, gummies. Hmm? Says raw and trays, gummies. Mm. Right here, fruit, fruit pastilles. Oh. They are vegan friendly. Robert's gonna read the description on them. These soft little orbs of flavor from the UK are made with real fruit juice. We've included either the fruit pastels or the random as assortment. Okay, so these are from the UK. This is what they look like. They look like little little bits of fruit. Maybe this is grape. You want to try the grape one? 
We have a red Yay. one. I'm not sure what flavor that is. You Ooh. got it, baby? Here you go, girls. Let's see what this tastes like. Is it great? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? That one tastes great. It's good. I've never seen these before. Fruit pas pastilles or pastilles, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, the next thing in our holiday snack crate is Hawaiian cookies, candy cane. Try all of our delicious flavors. So they must have different kinds of flavors. These are made in Hawaii. These are made in Hawaii, guys. They are Hawaiian cookies, candy cane flavor. You want to read about it, baby? Let me. They don't even aftertaste. The candy cane cookies. Let me read. Let me read. Okay, you hold. Can you hold it for daddy so he can read? Okay. Jump start your holiday spirit with a bite of this fresh, crunchy Hawaiian shortbread cookies oozing with oozing with pieces of peppermint candy cane. Oh yeah. Mm. It's got okay, so it has breathe. lots of, pep of peppermint in there. Hey baby. Girls. It's good. Last one. I missed it. This is your definition. Huh? I missed it. I didn't get any. You didn't try autumns? Yeah. So there was only like four cookies in there. There wasn't that many, but these are really good. So so far everything we've tried, we've we've liked everything so far. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's try some misky akuku. Is that right? Mis mis misky. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> a waka <-wum? laughs> This is your language. <laughs> no, it's a a waka <laughs> like Robert don't know it, I don't know it. I'm like, Robert's from Uganda and this looks like Ugandan to me, but I don't know. <laughs> I have many different accents. Tell me the accent. The girl see. Just call it Misky. waka -wum. Because it's just misty. Welcome. 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 Don't let their small size fool you. These bears pack a big flavor. Mmm, mm, yummy! They do. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, these are delicious. <laughs> Here, girls. I got kind of greedy. <laughs> Watch them. Watch them right there. Same one. I love these. You're not getting these kids. They're just yummy. But the miskies are from Mama. No. Mm-hmm. No. I'm gonna sneak into your bedroom. All right. Let's let's get something to drink here. What is this word? Apotic Carnus Julmust. Have no idea. Some kind of Christmas drink. It, the can looks really cool. I've never seen a can like this. Alright, he's going to read about it. Go ahead and read about it, babe. Okay. Julmust soda. A true Swedish holiday favorite. This unique soda is blended with the perfect mix of lively Coca-Cola and uh, refreshing root beer flavors. Mmm, so it's Swedish. 
This is from Sweden, guys. Our can got a little damaged. <laughs> Wow. Like it. it yeah, it does taste it does yeah. taste like Coke, but it's a little different. It looks like Coke. Um it says a perfect mix of Coca-Cola and root beer. See, originally I thought that it was root beer. Um I'm I taste I can taste both flavors. It's different. Do you like it, honey? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Is that so crazy? Jocelyn, we're watching you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ready? Am I the only one getting green apple? Sit down, boo boo. Mm -hmm. no. Sit down, boo boo. It's green okay. apple. Tastes good. Ew. No, I don't. It's watered down green apple. It's too fizzy. I like it. My eyes Alright. Oh, This is cute. Yes. I mean, yeah, have Look, eyes. guys. I'm taking it. Oh, it's my favorite. This has got to be from Europe. It's a milk chocolate. This is a Milka. Mm -hmm. Do you remember I had you pick up Milka from the Amsterdam airport for me? Mm -hmm. On your way here? You want to read about it? It's a milk chocolate. It's a Milka Santa Claus. Chocolate Santa Claus. Got a little pool thing on the back. But I just broke it. <laughs> okay. America Santa Claus. This Santa shaped stocking stuffer is produced with the same rich and decadent alpine milk chocolate that led America to fame in 1901. I love the chocolate. Wait. Oh, it is hollow inside. It's hollow inside, guys. No, no, not that. I'll just pass it down. <laughs> so, guys, I think this is going to taste just like pure milk of chocolate. Here, boo boo. Do you want it? Robert, do you want some, babe? Mother, she stole it all. Robert don't like chocolate, but I still like to ask him if he wants to try it. I keep thinking that one day he's going to love chocolate mm. like us. Mm. What? More. It's delicious. More? More? more. <laughs> Bubu said more? 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 more. The girl said more, more, more? Yeah. I mean, pretty well. It's delicious. Mm. You're missing out, baby. Mmm. You like it, Bubu? You like it? Can you say yummy? Yummy. Yummy. Yeah. Y'all want a drink? No. <laughs> I want to eat that chocolate taste tonight. <clears throat> Next, oodles, oodles mixed tangy tangy fruit chews. We got two of these. Dude, wonder where these are from. You gonna read? Okay, Uda. It's called Uda or Uda. Uda grid A big hit with the kids during. Hanukkah. What's Hanukkah? Hanukkah? Hanukkah is a Jewish holiday. Do you see the menorah on here? This is this is um, Hebrew. That's a spin so, top. I'm thinking this might have this might be from Israel. Hello. See the menorahs? Okay, big hit with the kids during Hanukkah. These sweet and tangy fruit juices are loaded with flavor, with flavor and came in unique griddle shape. Packaging. Yes, riddle. Oh, oh, okay, yes. The so it's top. it's those spinny things. That's what it's shaped like. So are you familiar with um sh uh, with Shanika? Shanika is the Hebrew for Hanukkah. Did you know that? The only thing I know in Hebrew is the Bible called Shemuel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Can you say it? 
Baruk. Haba. Hashem Yahuwah. All right, so this is what it looks like. I have no idea what these things are. Oops, I'm losing them. All right, you guys try some. That's the red package. What flavor is that? Mmm, those are really like tart and a little bit sour. They're good. I just wonder where they're from. From Israel, I guess, because Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's try the blue one. The blue one is blue raspberry. They are good, aren't they? <laughs> Do you like them, baby? No. No, no. Hmm. I like the red ones better. Well, where, where's the blue? There's the blue. They're coming. This bag is heavy. They're called Haribo. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know what language this is. Looks what German? A little bit. Not sure. Some kind of gummies. Hurry ball, hurry ball. You want to read about it? Mm. Can Daddy read, please? The perfect snack for the most magical time of the year. This bag of festive shaped gannies features an assortment of complex fruity flavors. Okay, I don't say where it's from. No. Some oranges, purples, and greens. Mm. Airheads, please. Have some right All right, the girls ate all of these, so they must have been good. It was Airhead. Girls, don't eat all the snacks. You know, save them for later. Good. <laughs> these are okay. I don't know. They're really, really chewy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are really chewy. They're thick. I just pulled my jaw. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, they're, they're probably too chewy for her. Mommy, don't want it? No. Oh, you want it? <laughs> it's got autumn, it. the autumn okay. grounds on it. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, do you like these? Jocelyn, do you like these? <laughs> they're different. Autumn juice. <laughs> Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Have another one. It's good. All right, guys. Y'all want a drink? No. You want your Swedish drink? All right, we have some uh, winter spice limited edition Twix. I'll eat it. Winter spice. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Autumn. You want to try a Twix bar? That's what it looks like. Just like a regular Twix bar. We'll see what the we'll see if it, what kind of spice is in this. You want to read about it? I can smell. I can smell some spices in it. Twix. This. Meet your new winter indulgence. This festive treat mixes the classic flavors of a Twix bar with a dash of cinnamon and ginger spice. 
I can I can take the, the spices in it, <laughs> the the cinnamon and the ginger. I yeah I think I would just prefer the regular Twix. You guys like it? I taste different. Hmm. Yep. Tastes different, but it doesn't taste better. Fifty thousand dollars for two percent than the regular Twix bar. Yeah. I do want it. Baby, there's a lot of chocolate in here. Mm -hmm. Almost everything else looks like chocolate. Alright. We have three balsam. Looks like pretzels. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Or chocolate. No. <laughs> we have three of them. This. I'll share mine with Autumn. Pure chocolate. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah. There's Ooh. no pretzel. It's just chocolate. Inside is like creamy and gooey. I don't even think there's a pretzel in there. It's just kind of shaped, shaped like a pretzel. Let's see. Jinx. It tastes like the Valentine's box. Someone's strawberry one. I think there's marshmallow or something inside there. It's dark chocolate. No, no, no. It doesn't look like marshmallow. Yeah, it, it tastes like marshmallow. Ew, tastes bad. Honey, everything in here looks like chocolate. I don't know about this one, though. Let's we'll see. That one gets a one. Did you read about that one? Oh, no. Oh, he still needs to read about it. Uh, what is it? Pretzel. <clears throat> It's cozy up for the holidays with the traditional German snack featuring a chewy gingerbread uh, pretzel coated with rich dark chocolate. Mm. Yeah, I could taste the dark chocolate. It it's bad. pretty good. It's a one. Ew. Mm. Winter. That looks well, I cannot pronounce any of these words. <laughs> the only thing I can pronounce on here is winter. Let me see. I'm you want to try it? <laughs> lettering. Winter lettering. Lettering. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> or just say licorice on your. You want to read about it? Let me read. Winter licorice cocoa <laughs> smackerel. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> I just don't know how to pronounce it. One bite okay. never tasted so delicious. Enjoy a creamy coconut center made with a milk chocolate coating over the top for a decadent mm -hmm. holiday treat. Ooh, creamy coconut. Mm -hmm. You sure don't want to try this, baby? Mm -hmm. I'll try a little bit. You want to try a little bit? Yeah. The pretzel scarred my mouth. Be All right, this one that looks like it is a nice thick hearty <laughs> candy bar. Oh. It's so thick, and you can see the coconut cream in oh, there. Coconut. Yes, coconut. Mm. One, one for you. One for you. You're welcome. Oh, Thank you. You have such good manners. Choo -choo. Can you taste the coconut, honey? Uh, nope. Oh, well, that's all I can taste. Mm. Mm. I get a lot of coconut in mine. Ugh. Are you sure you don't taste the coconut? Mm. Mm. That's really good. Mm. I love coconut. I don't think Jocelyn does. Jocelyn, can you move your head over just a little bit? I'm just eating chocolate. Can do you like it? No. That's good. I'll eat it. You eat it. Ew. All right, we have this cute little Santa Claus mm -hmm. box mm -hmm. called Dairy Milk Buttons. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Can Daddy read? What would the holidays be without some delicious bite-sized 
It says the cup. What am I Card very chocolate. This trick is Thank simply you. incredible and cute as a button. It is cute as a button. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try some of these dairy milk buttons. All right, so there's some little packages in here. Woo! Okay. So there's about <clears throat> five packages. Why are you guys doing all that? Yeah, I don't like coconut. Well, you can you go throw that in the trash real quick? Mm -hmm. I'm dead, you're right, Yeah. Baby, you want a bag? Mm -hmm. Don't eat my bag. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's I'll taste these. <laughs> they're, they really are okay. cute. There's a button, guys. They're so cute. Okay. They're so thin. Let's see how they taste. Can you open this for me? Cadbury Dairy Milk Buttons. These are delicious. They're so thin and just like the perfect little bite of Cadbury chocolate. They're so good. So like this crate has a lot of chocolate. Almost everything is chocolate, <laughs> except for the popcorn. You want some popcorn, baby? Did we read about that? Yep. We did. Oh yeah, we did. Because remember, cute as a button. Um. All right. The next thing is this. Maltzer's reindeer hey. chocolate. You want to read about that? The only thing better than the delightful richness of this malted candy is is when the silky chocolate it's and en, it's enrobed with slurry melts in your mouth. A dear hey. friend. <laughs> Cute. You want to try a piece of chocolate reindeer, Autumn? Let's look at him. <gasps> reindeer. Shiny reindeer. He's cute. Is he hollow too? No. And there's something inside. <gasps> Kenna. Is it Pokemon? Give it to Kenna. No, it's okay. <laughs> It's so shiny. I don't trust that. No, boo boo. Jocelyn? I got the horn. All right, let's taste this. Thing. I got space. What does it taste like, girls? Jocelyn, move your a head. A whopper. In. A whopper. It's a whopper. Jocelyn said it tastes like a whopper. That yeah. is a whopper. What's a whopper? It's like the candy you buy around Easter. It's like a circle chocolate ball. Jocelyn, Jocelyn, I can't see your face, babe. It's pretty good. Autumn, you want a bite, baby? Okay. All right, guys. And the last, the last item in our box, I, Alpinella, Alpinella. Milk chocolate. You want to read about it? Delight your taste buds with chocolate made with, made from the dairy found in the alpine region of Europe. Enjoy either the milk chocolate orange or peanut variety. Milk chocolate or what? Uh, enjoy either the milk chocolate. Orange or peanut variety? Peanut variety? Okay. Well, this one says milk chocolate, so I don't think there's any peanuts in here. It just comes in little squares. I wonder what's inside. 
Looks like there might be some little nuts in there. Pardon? Can I guess the big one? Mm -mm. Good. It's milk chocolate. <laughs> yeah. This is so good. So, like, this chocolate is probably my favorite out of the whole crate. And then these. Miska, miskis, they were so good. <laughs> Guys, do you like it? <laughs> I haven't got any nuts. All right. No nuts. What is that? Mine don't have nuts in it. Thank There's you. No nuts. Yep, that's it. All right, guys. So that's all we have for you today. That's our box is empty. Um, we hope you enjoyed. Um, I, I wanted to read a couple of these fun facts before I close the video. So, girls, are you listening? Fun facts about the holidays. Um, Jingle Bells became the first song played in space when on 16th of December, 1965, it was broadcast during NASA's Gemini 6-1 space flight. In Japan, the Christmas season means it's time to eat KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> wow. We're actually in Kentucky, so that's a little funny for us. About 3.6 million Japanese families eat fried chicken on Christmas Eve, and they often need to reserve their meal up to two months ahead. What? Like, they have to reserve KFC two months in advance? For a Christmas meal, <laughs> they, they need at least there. If there's anyone from Japan watching this video, please let us know if this is true, because <laughs> now I must find out. <laughs> All right, the third fun fact: candy canes were originally given to children to keep them quiet. Oh, oh I, yeah. I definitely believe that. During lengthy church services, it wasn't until a German Swedish immigrant decorated his tree with the sweet treat in 1847 that they became a popular Christmas candy. Guys, are you listening? Fun fact number four. Thanks to some kind hard workers at the Canadian Post Office, Santa Claus has a unique postal code. H-O-H-O-H-O. -O -H -O -H -O. <laughs> that helps prevent kids' letters from being lost in the mail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright guys, and there's also a section on here called Traditional Holiday Foods. And they've listed some traditional foods from different countries. Mm. I can't really see this so well. Can you turn your can you turn your light on, baby? Okay, so traditional foods from Germany. I can't see it. The German Christmas feast is historically centered around the W big long W word, the Christmas goose. The oldest known recipe for the dish dates back to a cookbook established in 1350. Mm. Baby, can you stop with that wrapper? Thank you. All right, and then Sweden. Daddy. Autumn, stop, baby. Autumn, here, do you want some of these? Baby. Hold on, baby. Okay. Hold on one second. Baby. Here, eat some of these for mommy. Baby. All right, girls. All right, we're going to... I was reading traditional holiday foods about from Sweden. Saffron buns are a popular Christmas treat in Sweden. Their yellow color comes um sorry, comes from saffron, a key ingredient in this dish. Traditionally, they are served to the family by the oldest daughter. All right, Jocelyn, you're up. <laughs> All right, a traditional holiday food in Israel. One of the oldest Hanukkah traditions is latkes. Have y'all ever had latkes? I know Jocelyn and Kenna has, but I don't know if you guys remember Lackies? them. Latkes. Latkes. They're like a they're like a flattened Lackies, fried potato. Latkes. Latkes. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're so good. Latkies. They're cheesy. Latkes. A fried potato Mommy. pancake. Baby, I'm 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 reading on them. Can you listen? They are often enjoyed with other fried Mommy. fritters and donuts Mommy. for the eight days of Hanukkah. Mommy. I don't think anybody can hear mommy. 
Traditional foods from the UK. Mince pies are small, sweet pastries filled with minced meat, which actually contains no meat. The filling is most commonly made of fried fruits and spices. All right. So that's all we have for you today. Here's your phone, honey. Um, this was a really fun box. Almost everything was so delicious. Girls, did you guys enjoy this box? Um, hey, girls. Girls. We're still on our uh, video. Um, so we are actually heading to Nashville for the holidays, and we'll be doing our second um, snack crate for this month in Nashville, so be sure to check out that video. And um, we hope you guys have a wonderful holiday and a Merry Christmas. Guys, bye. Thank you for watching. Bye.